The E300 electronic overload relay has an expansion bus. The expansion bus port is located on the load side of the overload relay. The expansion bus allows users to expand the I.O. capabilities of the E300 electronic overload relay. Users can add up to four digital modules and four analog modules. Natively, the E300 can power one digital module and one operator station. Anything above and beyond that will need an expansion bus power supply. To install a more complex expansion bus system, first mount the expansion bus power supply close to the E300 electronic overload relay. Next, mount the additional expansion I.O. modules close by to the power supply. In this example, we will be adding four digital modules and one analog module to this E300 electronic overload relay system. We will add the first digital module, which is a 120 volt AC input based module next to the power supply. Since this is the first digital module, using a standard screwdriver, we will set the module number to the value of 1. Next, we will add our second digital module, which is also a 120 volt digital input to relay output card, next to the first one. Using a standard screwdriver, we will set this to module number 2. Next, we will add a 24 volt DC digital I.O. module next to the second digital module. We will turn its rotary dial to digital module 3. Next, we'll add our fourth digital module. This module is a 240 volt based digital module. And we will set its module number to the value of 4. Finally, we'll add our last module. This is the analog module. Because this is the last module on our expansion bus, and it is the first analog module, we will set the analog module's rotary dial to the value of 1T. The expansion bus needs a terminating resistor at the end of the bus. Setting the value to a T-based value enables the internal terminating resistor. All expansion modules ship with a 20 centimeter piece of expansion bus cable. Simply place one end of the expansion bus cable into the E300 and the other end of the cable into the input port of the expansion module. For complex expansion bus systems, the power supply must be the first module on the expansion bus. We will continue this process until all the modules are connected onto the expansion bus. After the expansion bus cable has been installed, the E300 now has additional I.O. capabilities. Again, for this example, we have just added 16 digital inputs and 8 relay outputs and 3 universal inputs and one analog output to the E300 electronic overload relay system.